Hello and welcome to the sixth practical lesson of this course. Today you will learn how to add customers to the platform and adjust your project for multiple users to view the information about their own devices. So without further ado, let's get started. To add your first customer, go to Customers and select the plus icon. Enter Customer A as the title, specify any other details if needed and select Add. Now we need to add a customer user for our customer to be able to access the platform. To do this, select the Manage Customer Users icon on the right and select the plus icon. Then enter the customer's email and optionally, their first and last name or any other necessary details. You can also choose the activation method for a user through a link or a mail. Since we are using fictional data for our users, it's easier to proceed with the first option. Finally, select Add. To activate their account, customers need to use the activation link, which you may copy and share with them. After that, customers can paste this link into their browser and set up the password to use while logging into the platform. As you can see, there are currently no entities assigned to the customer, so let's share our dashboard with them. To do this, return to your tenant administrator account. In the customer's control panel, go to the Manage Customer dashboard of Customer A. Then, select the plus icon, specify the office's dashboard, and assign it to your customer. After sharing the dashboard, the customer can now access it but cannot view the widget's contents or navigate between device states. That's because we also need to assign Office A with its corresponding devices to the customer. To assign asset and devices to our customer, return to the customer's control panel and navigate to the Manage Customer Assets of the customer A. Then select the plus icon. Specify Office A and select Assign. Now go back to Customers and similarly, select Manage Customers Devices. Select the plus icon and then add our three smart sensors. Finally, select Assign. As a final step, let's set up our dashboard to open automatically when the customer logs into the platform. To do this, go back to Manage Customer Users, select the corresponding user, and then the pencil icon on the right. Navigate to the default dashboard field and specify the office's dashboard. Select the Always Full Screen option and apply your changes. After this step, our customer will now have full access to the dashboard functionality. Let's summarize what we have learned in our course by adding another asset, Office B, with its own devices. Then we will add a new customer, Customer B, and grant them access to Office B. First, using your previous experience, add an asset named Office B. Then add its corresponding attributes, address, email, floor, office manager, phone and an attribute with a link to the floor plan image of Office B. Next, add three devices and specify their location coordinates on the Office floor plan as attributes. After that, establish relations between Office B and these devices. Add telemetry emulators for each new device to the corresponding rule chain, following the same principles used for previous sensors. Finally, add customer B and their customer user. Assign them to the Office B asset, the associated devices, 
and our dashboard. As a result, Customer B will now have full access to the dashboard, Office B asset, and the sensor readings within it. However, Customer B will not have access to Customer A's office or its sensor data, and vice versa. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.